Module 4. Art through electronic media. Photography. The development of photography can be attributed to several early innovations and discoveries. One significant milestone was the discovery of the camera obscura, a device that allowed for the projection of an image onto a surface. Artists and scientists utilized this phenomenon for centuries to trace and capture accurate representations of objects. Early 19th century, Joseph Nysfor Niepce successfully produced the first permanent photograph using a process called heliography. He coated a metal plate with a light-sensitive material and exposed it to light, resulting in an image that could be chemically fixed. This marked the first step towards modern photography. A basic camera consists of a lens, an aperture, a shutter, and a light-sensitive medium, such as a film or a digital sensor. When taking a picture, photographers make several essential adjustments to control the exposure and capture the desired image. These adjustments include The aperture is the opening in the lens that controls the amount of light entering the camera. By adjusting the aperture size, photographers can regulate the area of sharp focus and control the amount of light reaching the film or sensor. The shutter is a mechanism that determines the duration of time the light is allowed to enter the camera. Photographers can adjust the shutter speed to control the exposure time, freezing motion with fast shutter speeds or creating motion blur with slow shutter speeds. ISO refers to the sensitivity of the film or digital sensor to light. By adjusting the ISO setting, photographers can control the camera's sensitivity 6 to light. Higher ISO settings are used in low-light conditions but can introduce noise or graininess to the image. A sharp focus is crucial for capturing well-defined images. Photographers adjust the focus by adjusting the lens to achieve sharpness on the subject. Composition involves the arrangement of elements within the frame. Photographers consider factors such as framing, leading lines, balance, and the rule of thirds to create visually appealing images. White balance adjusts the color temperature of the image to ensure accurate representation of colors under different lighting conditions. The rise of romanticism and the desire to capture the sublime and transcendental aspects of nature played a significant role in the rise of photography. Additionally, the growing interest in documenting the world during the Industrial Revolution influenced photographers to capture urban landscapes and scenes of modernity. The advancements in scientific discoveries provided the technical foundations for the development of photography as an art form. The influence of other visual arts, such as painting and sculpture, also shaped early art photography, with photographers aiming to achieve similar aesthetics and compositions in their images. Furthermore, cultural and societal changes propelled photographers to experiment and push the boundaries of the medium. Photography serves both as an art form and a documentary tool in society, each with distinct purposes and approaches. As an art form, photography allows for personal expression, creative interpretation, and the exploration of visual aesthetics. Artistic photographers often use composition, lighting, and subject matter to convey emotions, concepts, and narratives. They manipulate elements of the image to create a subjective representation of reality, inviting viewers to engage with the photograph on an emotional and intellectual level. On the other hand, Photography's documentary function focuses on capturing and recording objective reality, often with the intention of informing or advocating for a cause. Documentary photographers aim to present an accurate and unbiased depiction of social, cultural, or historical events. Their photographs serve as visual evidence for important moments in time. While art photography prioritizes individual expression and aesthetic exploration, documentary photography emphasizes truth, authenticity, and social relevance. However, the line between the two can be blurred, as many photographers incorporate artistic elements in their documentary work, and art photographs can still carry documentary value by capturing and conveying specific truths and perspectives. 
Artists did not commonly use color photography before the 1970s primarily due to technical limitations. Color photography requires complex and expensive equipment, specialized materials, and precise color calibration. Moreover, the early color processes were often unstable and prone to fading or color shifts over time. Contemporary artists have pushed the boundaries of traditional photographic processes, exploring experimental techniques to create unique and innovative artworks. Some artists experiment with alternative and historical processes like cyanotype, wet plate collodion, or gum bichromate printing. They may incorporate mixed media, such as painting, collage, or digital manipulation, into their photographic works. Others explore unconventional materials, like light-sensitive emulsions on unconventional surfaces or experimenting with camera-less photography techniques. Some artists employ innovative digital processes, such as glitch art, algorithmic manipulation, or virtual reality, to create thought-provoking and visually striking images. These experimental processes allow artists to challenge traditional notions of photography, expand their creative possibilities, and create artworks that are distinct and visually compelling. Digital technology has had a profound influence on photography in the 21st century. The advent of digital cameras and editing software has revolutionized the way photographs are captured, processed, and shared. Digital cameras offer instant preview, allowing photographers to adjust on the spot. Post-processing software enables precise control over image editing, including color correction, retouching, and creative manipulation. The rise of social media has facilitated the easy sharing of photographs to a global audience. Additionally, advancements in mobile phone cameras and photo editing apps have made photography more accessible and widespread. The digital era has democratized photography, empowering individuals to express themselves visually. Movies Cinema has its origins in photography, with the development of motion picture technology stemming from the desire to capture and project moving images. In the late 19th century, pioneers such as Edward Mybridge and Thomas Edison experimented with motion studies and the creation of moving image devices. The invention of the cinematograph by the Lumiere brothers in 1895 marked a significant milestone, allowing for the recording of moving pictures. Early films were often short, documentary-like sequences capturing everyday scenes. Over time, filmmakers began to experiment with storytelling, editing techniques, special effects, and sound synchronization. The evolution of cinema has been shaped by advancements in camera technology, film stock, sound recording, editing tools, and visual effects. Early technical innovations in movies were crucial for the development of the medium. One significant innovation was the introduction of synchronized sound in the late 1920s, which led to the era of talkies and transformed the cinematic experience. This innovation allowed for the integration of dialogue, music, and sound effects into films, enhancing storytelling capabilities. Another key technical advancement was the development of color film. In the 1930s, movies began to be produced in vibrant technicolor, bringing a new level of visual richness to the screen. This innovation revolutionized the aesthetics of cinema and opened new creative possibilities for filmmakers. During the 1930s, Hollywood produced a wide range of films that became iconic in different genres. Musicals, such as Singin' in the Rain, 1952, and uh, The Wizard of Oz, 1939, showcased elaborate song and dance numbers and became beloved classics. The film noir genre also emerged during this time, characterized by its moody lighting, shadowy visuals, and narratives of crime and suspense. Examples include Double Indemnity, 1944, and The Maltese Falcon, 1941. Internationally, the 1930s witnessed the rise of several important film movements. In France, the avant-garde movement known as the French New Wave began, 
with filmmakers like Jean Renoir and Jean Vigo pushing the boundaries of storytelling and visual style. Soviet cinema, led by directors such as Sergei Eisenstein, embraced montage techniques and ideological storytelling. The German Expressionist movement, with films like Nisferatu, 1922, and Metropolis, 1927, showcased bold and stylized visuals. Hollywood also produced epic films, known as spectacle films, which aimed to captivate audiences with grandiose sets, large-scale action sequences, and sweeping narratives. Examples include Gone with the Wind, 1939, and uh, The Ten Commandments, 1956. The digital revolution has had a profound impact on special effects and movie production, transforming the way films are made and the visual experiences they deliver. The advancement of computer-generated imagery, CGI, and digital technology has enabled filmmakers to create extraordinary and realistic visual effects that were previously unimaginable. Digital effects have allowed for the creation of fantastical worlds, creatures, and environments that seamlessly blend with live-action footage. From epic battles and massive explosions to breathtaking landscapes and intricate character designs, CGI has revolutionized the possibilities of visual storytelling. Furthermore, the digital revolution has streamlined the production process. Filmmakers can now shoot on digital cameras, eliminating the need for traditional film stock and costly processing. Digital editing tools have made post-production more efficient and flexible, enabling precise control over every aspect of a film's visual and auditory elements. The digital revolution has also democratized movie production, allowing independent filmmakers and emerging talents to create high-quality films at a fraction of the cost compared to traditional methods. Digital distribution platforms have provided opportunities for wider exposure and access to a global audience. However, the digital revolution has also sparked debates about the over-reliance on CGI and its impact on practical effects. Some argue that the abundance of digital effects can diminish the tactile and immersive qualities of physical sets and props. Graphic Design Graphic design is the art of combining text and pictures in advertisements, magazines, or books. It is often used with complementary images and words. Graphic design plays a crucial role in the visual communication of information and ideas. 3. Through the skillful combination of typography, imagery, color, and layout, Graphic designers create visual compositions that effectively convey messages and engage audiences. Whether it's designing logos, posters, websites, or infographics, graphic design employs visual elements to communicate complex concepts, evoke emotions, and establish brand identities. It helps to organize and structure information, making it easily understandable and accessible. By utilizing various design principles, such as hierarchy, contrast, and balance, graphic designers create visual narratives that enhance understanding, capture attention, and leave a lasting impact on viewers. Overall, graphic design is a powerful tool in shaping how information is presented, ensuring that it is visually compelling, coherent, and memorable. Interactive design is used to create engaging and interactive experiences across various digital platforms. It involves designing interfaces, user interactions, and user experiences for websites, mobile apps, games, and other interactive media. It focuses on creating intuitive, functional, and enjoyable interactions that facilitate user engagement and accomplish specific goals. InfoPeel is a template of moving shapes with spaces for the insertion of dates of upcoming events and photos of performers. Industrial products that successfully integrate utility, technology, and cutting-edge design are often at the forefront of innovation and consumer appeal. These products go beyond meeting basic functional needs by incorporating advanced technology and sleek design elements that enhance usability and aesthetic appeal.
They demonstrate a deep understanding of user requirements and leverage technological advancements to provide enhanced features, improved performance, and seamless integration with modern lifestyles. Whether it's smartphones with advanced processors and intuitive interfaces, smart home devices that seamlessly connect and automate various functions, or electric vehicles that combine sustainable technology with sleek design, these products exemplify the synergy between utility, technology, and cutting-edge design, delivering exceptional user experiences and driving market demand. Three-dimensional art. Freestanding, lower leaf, and high-relief sculptures are three distinct forms that vary in their level of three-dimensionality and projection from a flat surface. Freestanding sculpture refers to fully three-dimensional artworks that are intended to be viewed from all angles. These sculptures are self-supporting and can be observed from different perspectives, allowing the viewer to engage with the piece from various angles. Examples of freestanding sculpture is a sculpture that is a standalone object. Examples include Michelangelo's, David, and Auguste Rodin's The Thinker. Lower leaf sculpture, also known as bar leaf, features a shallow depth and minimal projection from the background. The figures or forms in lower leaf sculpture are typically partially carved or sculpted, and they often appear to be emerging from the surface. Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics and the decorative friezes of ancient Greek architecture are notable examples of low-relief sculpture. High-relief sculpture, on the other hand, has a more pronounced projection from the background. The figures or forms in high-relief sculpture are fully or substantially sculpted and appear to be more detached from the surface. This form of sculpture often creates a greater sense of depth and dimensionality. A prominent example of high-relief sculpture is the Parthenon frieze in Athens. One example of a famous sculpture is the declaration by Mark D. Silvero that is in Venice Beach, Los Angeles, California. The artist uses balance for structural purposes to ensure that the sculpture remains upright and safe for viewers. The arrangement of the V-shaped wings and triangular base also creates asymmetrical balance. There are also portico. These structures consisting of a roof supported by columns at regular intervals, typically attached as a porch to a building. Modeling, casting, carving, and constructive techniques are fundamental methods used to create sculptures, each with its own distinct approach and materials. Modeling involves the manipulation of pliable materials like clay, wax, or plasticine to shape and form the sculpture. Artists can add or remove material, refining the details and textures until the desired form is achieved. Casting involves a mold that captures the details of the original sculpture, the chosen material is poured into the mold, and allowing it to harden, creating a sculpture. Casting allows for the creation of multiple copies of the same sculpture. Carving involves removing material from a solid block using tools such as chisels, knives, or drills. This technique is commonly used with materials like wood, stone, or even ice. The artist carves away layers, gradually shaping the sculpture and revealing the desired form. Constructive techniques involve assembling different materials to create a sculpture. This can include welding metals or joining wood pieces. Constructive techniques allow for experimentation with different materials and the creation of complex and dynamic compositions. Kinetic sculpture is a form of art that incorporates movement as an essential element. It involves the use of mechanical, electrical, or natural forces to create sculptures that move, spin, rotate, or have other dynamic and interactive qualities. Mixed media sculpture refers to artworks that combine multiple materials, techniques, and elements to create a three-dimensional composition. The parameters of mixed media sculpture are flexible, allowing artists to incorporate a wide range of materials such as wood, metal, ceramics, found objects, textiles, paper, and more. These materials can be manipulated, assembled, or juxtaposed to create unique textures, forms, and visual effects. Mixed media sculpture often involves the use of various techniques, including carving, casting, modeling, assemblage, and construction. The combination of different materials and techniques allows artists to explore diverse concepts, 
narratives, and aesthetics, resulting in dynamic and visually engaging sculptures that transcend the boundaries of traditional media. Installation and site-specific art are powerful forms of artistic expression that aim to transform and interact with their surroundings, creating immersive and unique experiences for viewers. Installation art refers to artworks that are created or assembled within a specific space, often encompassing the entire environment. Artists use various materials, objects, and multimedia elements to construct installations that engage the senses and provoke thought. These artworks often challenge traditional boundaries by incorporating sculpture, painting, video, sound, and interactive elements. Site-specific art takes the concept of installation further by considering the specific characteristics and context of a particular location. Artists respond to the physical, historical, cultural, or social aspects of a site, creating artworks that are intimately connected to their surroundings. They may utilize architectural features, natural elements, or cultural references to enhance the meaning and impact of their work. Both installation and site-specific art invite viewers to actively engage with the artwork, blurring the lines between the art object and its environment. These art forms encourage a re-evaluation of familiar spaces and provoke new perspectives, transforming the way we perceive and interact with our surroundings. They often challenge established norms, spark conversations, and invite viewers to contemplate the relationship between art, space, and human experience.